how you doing Hey y'all, it's Alicia K. Thank you guys for coming back to another video. So today I'm just going to be telling you guys how I feel about this wig, which is from Scion Show Hair. Not too many people actually are buying it with their own money and not getting sponsored for it. So I'm gonna tell you the truth. I'm gonna be looking down just because I wrote some stuff down and it's color coded so that I don't stray and this could be a fast video, okay. Some specs on the hair. So it is a 30 inch, 250% density wig and it is thick. This hair is loose deep wave by the way and I straightened it. It's nice and silky. It does get a little bit dry, but it, in my opinion it was already dry. So I just put some serum in it and I just used the, um, Okay, so I've been using the Bio Soak Silk Therapy, and it works pretty good. Yeah, I've been using the Silk Therapy Bio Soak Serum just to get it nice and slicked. And even when it was curly, I was using that just to make sure that it was moisturized because, like I said, the hair is pretty dry here. But anyways, I got off track. The lace is a 13 by 6 transparent lace. It takes me a good little while to really lay this down and make it look the way I want it to look. Um, the construction of the wig, so it comes with four combs, obviously not one here, one here, one here, one like on the crown of your head and then one in the back. I normally just use the one in the back just to make sure that it's stable, especially like when I'm going to work because I put my hair into buns and I don't want for me to like bend my head down and just bloop that would be very embarrassing just use the one in the back and then i also use the adjustable strap that's back there it's like one of those bra clip ones it is pretty true to length it actually exceeded 30 inches when i first um measured it it was like 34 ish inches so there's nothing to really worry about there it was actually longer than what i was expecting it to be it shipped pretty quickly i had to ship the hair to a shipping company so they could ship it to me but even then like it just took it took two weeks if it was just shipping straight to me it would have took like five business days so they did say it was pre-plucked and it had baby hairs already on it i don't remember seeing baby hairs on it and pre-plucked uh, it was not pre-plucked i plucked this wig three different times but yeah it does say that it's pre-plucked but it kind of depends on your preference and what you like and how you like to wear your wigs you do need to also bleach the knots the knots did not come pre-bleached so i dyed the wig jet black um and i did use box dye i didn't do the watercolor method so i probably like over dyed the hair and that might be why i'm having problems with the hair i mean the texture was really pretty when i first got it but i couldn't get it back to that really pretty like wavy texture so i just got really irritated and ended up straightening it because it's not going to tangle as much as it's straight in my in my head that's just the way i'm thinking about it let's talk about the lace i don't particularly like the lace i was really thinking that it was going to be hd lace I don't know why I feel like I saw it said that it was HD lace. Somewhere on that freaking site for this freaking wig, it said HD lace. When I bleached it, it looked all right. Like, you know, I didn't have any problems. I didn't over bleach it or anything. I think that it has something to do with how thick the lace is because I have a really hard time laying really thick lace. I don't know if it's just because I'm a perfectionist or I just really want it to look like scalp. I don't really know, but like this is all right, but it's not the best that I've ever seen from a wig being laid on my head so so many different people talk about oh this lace is so good oh this lace laid down so well obviously they were getting paid to say what they were saying because I am not seeing the same thing can it be finessed yes it can be finessed no no mm -mm. yeah I've been wearing this hair for two to three weeks now it's like I don't really have any serious problems with the hair it's more so because i'm a perfectionist when it comes to the way that i want to look i have something in my head an image and if it doesn't look like that then i'm not happy i'm gonna continue to wear it probably for another month and then see how i'm feeling after that and that'll kind of tell me how long it's gonna last but overall if i was to rate the wig seven and a half eight 
just because of the issues that I have with it. They're not exactly real problems, they're just issues. As long as you're able to finesse it, it can look okay. I still look good, so I can't really be too mad at it. I am, though, mad at this baby. <laughs> If you guys like this video then go ahead and leave a thumbs up down below if you have also tried this hair or this hair company put a comment below and tell me how you guys feel about the wig overall because like i said maybe it's just me and the way that i actually went about styling the hair like I said, i'm not a professional at all i just do this because it's cheaper and there's no one out in japan that can do black people hair for real so if you guys have tried this hair and you have different experiences or tried this company a different hair texture or different wig altogether then let me know down below because i would not be opposed to trying a different wig from them just because i want to see if it was a user error or if it was the wig. Like, comment, subscribe, subscribe. Speaking of subscribers, so like, I'm looking at my analytics. If you think I'm not looking at my analytics, you're wrong. And there are a lot of y'all to be watching my videos and don't be subscribing. So I just want you to know if you're doing that, you're wrong. Hey right, guys, I will see you guys in the next video and love you. Okay, bye. bye. Has been such to me.